Hello everyone. In the last session, we discussed about the single loop DC motor. You know that a DC motor, it will take electric power and it will give the mechanical power. We should discuss about the operation and the operation is like this. And we will continue the continuing the this topic with some equations. So in that finally, generally the armature current in AB conductors or CD conductors AC current. Look at here, this is the AC current and the for CD also AC. But if you look at the load current, the current will be the constant. Current will be the constant. This conversion from this AC to DC is done by the commutator. This is done by the commutator. It is a working as rectifier as well as the inverter. Rectifier in case of the generator and inverter in case of the motor. Yes. Next, we will continue this. So, generally we have one important thing that is the most important thing is in DC motor we have a DC motor also generator action takes place how generator action takes place how so just observe here we have the DC motor that is the DC motor is here we have DC motor like this and north pole and south pole is there and it is rotating DC motor means it is rotating then there is a conductor and there is a flux is there and here the conductor has in rotation then automatically some EMF will be generated that we can call it as the back EMF that we can call it as the back EMF that is this thing here only in DC motor also generator action takes place because due to the motor action because due to the motor action here the armature armature rotates and cuts the flux then the EMF is induced is called the back EMF the, the EMF is induced this induced EMF due to the generator action generator action always opposes the supply voltage so this will be opposite the supply voltage generally here the we have the generator is there so this is the generator and we, it will oppose the supply voltage so back emf we can call it as the back emf this back emf oppose the opposes the generated emf so it is called as back emf it is opposing that's why it is called back emf this back emf can be represents equivalent terms of mechanical power developed also we can be represented generally in the mechanical power developed also so before that we will discuss some important equations here here we have dc motor that means dc motor due to the back emf the generator emf is represented with the eb and this is the supply voltage v then the armature have some current IA that IA current will flows like this so we can write the equation for the armature current is like this that is this is the voltage source and this voltage source minus this back EMF armature has some resistance that is the RA finally we can write the supply voltage equal back EMF plus IA RA so we can elaborate these terms this IA is armature current this IA is armature current here V is input voltage because we are giving input for the motor is the electrical supply that's why V is input voltage and EB is the back EMF EB is the back EMF and here RA is so generally back EMF is generated in the conductor and every winding has some resistance we can call it as armature resistance we can name it as the 
armature resistance RA. So these are the parameters available in for the given DC motor. Okay. So finally we are getting the T equation is V equal to EB plus IA RA. EB plus IA RA. So if you multiply the the entire equation with IA both LHS and RHS side that value is like this V into IA plus EB into IA plus IA square into RA IA square into RA so finally we can write what we can write generally V into IA look at here this is the V this is the IA this is the input voltage IA is the input current then we can write it as input power that input power we can name it as the input power and look at here here the back EMF is developed and the current is flowing from this armature conductors we can call it as output power or mechanical power we can name it as the mechanical power this is input power better to write the electrical power so we can write this is the input power and this is the output power what about IA square RA name itself it is the loss this is the loss okay so finally by observing the these equation we can write the value is like this the value is here we can write the output power or mechanical power is like this that is back EMF into armature current back EMF into armature current otherwise we can write mechanical power equation is like this that is generally mechanical power we can write in two terms that is the electromagnetic power electromagnetic torque with the speed how so any rotor will be rotates so whenever it gets some torque on it and it will rotate with some speed when the twisting force is applied that is the torque and it rotates with the speed generally here T EM we can name it as electromagnetic torque electromagnetic torque yes and speed is speed of rotor speed of rotor that is in radian per second radian per second okay so by using these two equations this mechanical power equal electromagnetic torque into speed equation we can get electromagnetic torque value that is the mechanical power by speed mechanical power by speed so you know the mechanical power is this is the value that is back emf into armature current by the speed so this is the complete electromagnetic torque equation this is the complete electromagnetic torque equation so how can we write it the electromagnetic torque value equal mechanical power by speed equal back emf into armature current by the speed of the induction motor speed of the induction motor so this is a very very important relation what it represents so by giving by applying the electrical power to the this generator the electromagnetic torque is not generated this is for DC motor electromagnetic torque is produced it will get the mechanical power by speed and back EMF into armature current by speed so we already discussed about the statement the back EMF generation here we can write finally back EMF value is like this that that look at here here the induced back EMF in the armature conductors is also AC with the frequency this is a very important thing because look at here we have a armature it has it will be produced that is the the production is this is the back EMF and it will generate the current that is the armature current is like this if you observe here the most important thing the generated back EMF is AC quantity AC quantity AC quantity name itself it must and should have the some frequency the must and should have the some frequency 
that frequency value we can write this that frequency value f equal to p n by 120 p n by 120 here what is p what is n what is 20 p is p is the frequency of frequency of supply voltage so supply is ac supply it has some frequency and p number of poles of p is number of poles of the machine the poles of the machine n is speed of the speed of the machine in rpm speed of the machine in rpm so generally we have two types of speeds one is angular velocity angular velocity that is represents with omega omega and we have another speed that is the rotational velocity rotational velocity normal velocity that is n this omega in generally radian per seconds so the speed is generally rotation per minute rotation per minute so this is the these are the complete equations related to the dc motor okay so in the dc motor we have the relation between torque and the power and this is about the back emf okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you